That's pretty damn good. That's pretty quiet. Yeah. For as short as it is, I can. It's yeah. quiet. When you think about rifle suppressors in general, they can kind of be broken down into three categories. First off, you have the really long cans. These cans are huge and get lots of attention because of how quiet they are and the crazy numbers that they post on the Pew Science Reviews. Don't get me wrong, I love those really quiet silencers, but they are always very large. Now that's not a problem if you're shooting from a bench or prone, but in most other circumstances, the size can be somewhat of a hindrance. K-cans always seem to get a lot of attention too. These cans are small and they look really cool because of the ultra compact size. They just make it look like you can shoot better and faster having one on the end of your rifle. In reality, they are kind of loud and in the majority of circumstances will still require the user to wear hearing protection. I feel like the mid-sized cans sometimes get overlooked. I'm going to refer to these as utility silencers because they fit a wide array of roles well. These cans can be quiet enough to be hearing safe on many hosts, they're small enough to suit a variety of shooting scenarios, they typically have less back pressure than longer cans, basically they are the happy medium, and I'm not sure they get the attention they deserve. In fact, I would say the most important silencer to have in your silencer collection would be a really quiet utility silencer like the Liberty Precision Anthem S. We have been running this silencer for some time and have been very impressed with its overall performance. It is extremely quiet given its size, possibly the quietest of the mid-size utility cans. It has fairly low back pressure, so it plays nicely with semi-auto platforms, and the size is very accommodating whether you're shooting it on a long-range rifle, in the prone, or running an AR. The majority of this video was put together before Pew Science released his data on the Liberty Precision Machine Anthems, but in the past week it came out, so we might as well talk about it for a second because it is pretty interesting. If you're not familiar with Pew Science, he's an engineer who's come up with a new way to rate the performance of silencers based on how they actually sound and are perceived by the human ear. You should go check him out if you haven't. The big findings from the Pew Science ratings are that the Anthem S is the quietest silencer for its size, meaning that anything quieter than it is much larger than the Anthem S. And the Anthem K is the quietest, shortest silencer that has ever been tested by Pew Science. So these are both the most efficient silencers given their size. And that is a pretty big deal. If you're unfamiliar with Liberty Precision Machine, they've been making really cool muzzle devices that are compatible with Reardon Atlas, and this makes a very good QD mounting system. They also make them in various sizes and in designs that people want to make them more compatible with more silencers. They also make a 22 silencer called the Spark, and while I haven't shot it personally, I hear from very reputable people that it is an extremely good 22 can. The guys at Liberty Precision Machine are big hunters, and when they set out to develop a 30 cal can, the number one requirement was to be as quiet as possible without the can getting terribly long, because it's no fun to hike through the woods with an 8 inch silencer on the end of your rifle. But Liberty Precision Machine didn't want the Anthem to be just a delicate, lightweight hunting can, so they designed it to be able to withstand the harshest firing schedules with no barrel length restrictions. Being hunters, the guys at Liberty Precision Machine also wanted the Anthem to have no negative impacts on accuracy, and I would say that they have succeeded. While we were reviewing the Anthem, we were able to get some pretty impressive shots. We have been reviewing this JTAC Industries Elf Owl in 6mm arc, and this thing has been nothing short of amazing, even with only an 11.2 inch barrel. Even with this short of a barrel, in 6mm arc, this gun is still extremely capable of making 1,000 yard shots. That was easy. 
So on this range, way at the top of this hill, there's a target at 1,080 yards. We put a camera down range and shot the same JTAC Industries 6mm arc. So as you can see, there's definitely no ill effects on accuracy with the Anthem. The Anthems are made out of 17-4 stainless steel, but they are designed with an extremely strong blast baffle and blast chamber to handle extremely harsh firing schedules and they have no barrel length restrictions. Liberty Precision Machine also uses special welding techniques and materials to get better, stronger penetrations on their welds. While these are 17 4 stainless, they're far stronger and more durable than most stainless cans on the market. The Anthem S is 6.5 inches long, weighs in at 14.3 ounces, and has a diameter of 1 3/4 inches. The Anthem K is 5 1/4 inches long, weighs in at 12.4 ounces, and also has a diameter of 1 3/4. Lengths and weights are without any rear mount, as that will change based on what mount you decide to use. In the back, they feature the standard 1 and 3 8 by 24 or standard hub threads, so you can attach virtually any mounting system that you like, and we tried out many, including the full-size dead air brakes, so there is plenty of room in the back for whatever QD system you want to go with. They also license the serial ID ring from Energetic Armament, so any mishaps or warranty issues that come up should be very easily remedied. In the front, the Anthem features a removable end cap. Down the road, various caliber end caps and other designs will be available. Another thing that I really like about the Anthem system is they both have fairly low back pressure, meaning that these cans will play nicely with any of your semi-automatic rifles. In fact, we didn't have any problems with any of the hosts that we put it on being over back pressured or over gassed. Well, I think that's about enough of me droning on. I'll let you guys hear them for yourselves to see what you think. Good? Yep. Well, I hope that came across in the video, but the Anthems are extremely impressive silencers given their relative size. We did, of course, shoot the Anthem K during the review as well, and it is a very effective K silencer. If short, stubby things happen to be your thing, the Anthem K is a great option. In all seriousness, for a hunting rig, when exposure to shots would be at a minimum, or a longer barrel rifle, this is a very good option. And as I've already stated, Pew Science has rated it the quietest, shortest can that he has ever tested. For me, the really impressive offering is the Anthem S. It manages to perfectly walk that line of great sound suppression, low back pressure, strong enough to handle whatever you want to throw at it, in a nearly ideal size. It very well could be the ultimate utility silencer. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching and a huge thank you goes out to Callaway Ballistics for providing nearly all the ammo that we shot in this video. Be sure to go check them out. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. As always, we have some really big reviews in the works. And if you want to know what those reviews are way before they hit the YouTube channel, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And there you can see what's being reviewed in real time. If you like what you see here on the channel and want to help support Alabama Arsenal, the best possible way to do that is through Patreon. These videos can be surprisingly expensive to make, and every contribution helps no matter what size. There's also Alabama Arsenal gear available right below the video if you want to go out and represent. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.